China keeping it real with fake butterflies. First, there's the fake penguins in China, and now they've decided to take fakeness to the next level by presenting you with a fake butterfly exhibition. The exhibition, called Dinosaur and Butterfly, was held last weekend at a park in Mashan County in Guangxi's Zhuang Autonomous Region. According to advertisements that appear on Chinese messaging app WeChat, tens of thousands of butterflies from far and wide at the exhibition will land on visitors' shoulders and fingers. But when Mr. Huang and his daughter traveled 62 miles to see the exhibition, all they saw were plastic butterflies placed haphazardly on the ground. Visitors left enraged, saying they felt they were cheated by the Yuling Beishan Exhibition Service Company, which organized the event. A staffer defended the company, saying the ad was not fake, and why couldn't a plastic butterfly land on someone's finger? What are they smoking? The park, meanwhile, has responded, saying the exhibitors have already cleared everything away, and if something like this happens again, they won't rent the area out to them. The organizers, meanwhile, are resolute in their stance that the exhibition was really up to everyone's imagination. Oh, China, you never cease to amaze. Surprised? A zoo in southern China thought it was clever enough to deceive its visitors with inflatable penguins when they claimed they were exhibiting real penguins. Guishan Zoo, recently opened in Yuling, China's Guangxi province, advertised itself as a place where people could see rare animals and learn more about wildlife. At the equivalent of two U.S. dollars and 25 cents for a single ticket, anyone can visit the first zoo ever in Yuling. Enthusiastic Yuling residents flock to the zoo with cameras, hoping to document some... Hold on a second. Roosters and geese? And what the heck is this? A turtle in a glass box? Here comes the best part. The penguins are actually just some blow-up penguins, which were scattered around some dried-up poles. China, you are so li hai. Folks on Chinese social media Weibo are seriously entertained. As one guy points out, you forgot the other animals like mosquitoes, ants, flies, and mice that are displayed at the zoo. However, this isn't the first zoo in China to bamboozle its visitors with fake animals. In 2013, a zoo in Henan province had a Tibetan mastiff stand in as an African lion. Construction site in China's Manhattan collapses. A dramatic video captured by workers shows the collapse of a building site at a multi-billion dollar construction project in Shenzhen, China. The video shows a wall slowly collapsing and dragging part of the construction site into a pit. No injuries were reported from the incident, and the collapse was reportedly caused by soft soil around the site. The 45 billion U.S. dollar construction project, located in Shenzhen's Qianhai district, is only an hour from Hong Kong. The project is part of a planned international finance and commercial district, some are calling the Manhattan of the Pearl River Delta. The Chinese government hopes it will rival and even replace Hong Kong's central district. China ditches one-child policy. Go forth and multiply! One more time. China is lifting their one-child policy, which was enacted in 1980 out of fear of overpopulation. The policy has prevented 400 million births and led to horrific human rights violations, such as forced abortions for some violators, forced labor, and even jail time for others. Thanks, Xi Jinping! China's birth rate, currently at 1.66 per woman, is expected to rise, but it may be too little too late. China may be one of the first countries to grow old before they grow rich. A 4 one problem arises when grandparents and parents depend on a single child for their social security. Due to a long history of preferring sons over daughters, China is now left with a disproportionate number of men looking for wives. Urbanization's on the rise, which may discourage couples from having kids at all. But if they do decide to make a baby, it's all good if they want to make two. China remains the world's most populous country, but India is on pace to surpass them by 2022. Economic pressure caused China's birth rate to fall long before the one-child policy was instated. So it'll be interesting to see if scrapping it actually makes a difference. And it's hard to tell if China's daughters will finally get a fair stake in their male-dominated society. This isn't Sparta! Foreigners in mankinis arrested in Beijing. Several photos of a bungled viral promotion event have started bouncing around the Chinese internet. 
On Wednesday, a Beijing salad shop hired a gaggle of foreign hunks to promote their wares, but neglected to inform their imperial overlords in the government. Sweetie Salad, purveyors of salad in a cup, hired several dozen guys to dress like Spartans. The Greek vegetarians then marched around Beijing's Sanlitun district to the delight of all. All except their communist masters, who were unnerved by the sight of 3,000-year-old freedom fighters marching in formation. Groups independent of the Chinese Communist Party are strictly banned, be they Tibetans, Catholics, or Spartans. The hapless Spartans were cornered by Persian, er, I mean Beijing police and apprehended. The communists might have won this round, but now the people know you can't keep our salad down. Decadent Western imperialist Stephen McDonnell rightly chose this time to congratulate China for crushing the Spartan Rebellion. He also retweeted Champagne Spider's timely reminder that you don't make friends with salad, you don't make friends with salad, and so on.